Hello everybody and welcome to this playthrough for Pro and Expert Division with various wins for the Rewind Tournament here in Gold Clash the game. Before we take a closer look, make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button, also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. For those of you that do want to have the best guides on the market, you scan the QR code here on the screen or you go directly to patreon.com slash goldclashtommy and sign up for the best guides on the market. Info box on the right hand side for the club distance adjustment, elevation adjustment, also a ball and club type I suggest you to play with. Have in mind that those are all suggestions and you don't have to follow it if you don't want to, but there is always a plan behind it. So, let's go to hole number one. So for hole number eight, what I would like you all to do is actually to play with a special ball here, if you can. I know that there's a, obviously a very solid way of just using a long iron on the second shot to give ourselves a nice way to the eagle, which is option number one in our guide. But this is option number two, and now we're going to utilize one of our new precision ball. Three left, three top spins start at the just after plus one, or like just below plus one, which is a max line with a power zero ball. Max plus 10, half a ball of left curl, and then the goal is to get the ball safely down the fairway. Again, you don't have to play with a precision ball, but you have to play with a power zero ball if you're going to play the shot here shown. 342 yards, second shot, now we're going to play here with our sniper, pack the grizzly to easier find min lines. You move up to min, and then you move, uh, uh, then you push up rings from min. To have your target on the fringe. It's very important that you have your target on the fringe. Backspin to get the ball guideline one green square through the hole. And from here, we're gonna use min minus 20% elevation P5 as our uh, base. So we're gonna use that adjustment from min line. And then for every ring we push up, we're adding 0.1. Very important that you do play with a small, uh, or like a favorite 11.59 here. Making the adjustment, also making sure to pull over bullseye. Send to the ball and hit perfect. And this is going to be a very good chance for you to getting a drop here on hole number eight. Again, you don't have to play this shot. This is an alternative. We obviously have another very option in the guide as well for those that you want to pin down and play for a long iron to pin instead. Pack the Grizzly to find min line easier. We want to play with a uh, kingmaker or any other ball that you have side spin three 3.6 back spin three left spin now look to what i'm doing i'm moving my target as much left that i can until it gets clipped by the tree and then i'm moving back i'm not really focusing on how the ball guideline looks i'm more focusing on that specific spot and here adjustment is one to one plus 0 0.8 that's going to be what we're going to use here and we're going to center the ball and hit perfect if we do have other wind angles, so to speak, we're obviously going to make tweaks based off that. But here we don't need any tweaks and we're dropping it dead center for a lovely hole in one uh, on hole number one. For option number one on hole number three, we're going to send it and we're going to try to do it as simple as possible. We're not going to adjust anything. Stretch out to max with the blue ring by the rough line with a POC 8, obviously standard overlap as to the other apocs. This is for apoc 5 plus needs to be set as well. Then we're pulling back and we're doing that with the ball guideline straight and we're pulling back to the specific plus yardage that is mentioned in the guide. Two left spin and whatever top spin uh, that is based on wind strength. Now, we're not, again, we're not adjusting anything. We're gonna go one ball right and try to hit uh, max over power, perfect. Great left is definitely better than a great right because a great, I mean, a great right is not gonna be any danger, but it's going to most likely end up into the bunker as you can see there. Sure, you could maybe tweak and go with a little bit more topspin if you wanna push it, but we like this controlled way to hit the rough, roll out, and then have a wedge towards the pin. This is a shot as well where wind zero ball is preferred. However though, if you do have a high wind with a wind one, such as uh, wind around 
you know 11 to 12 miles per hour a berserker ball is most definitely sufficient to to use there for those that do not want to send it at all then you go over and play option number two which is a more which is a layup more conservative way where the albatross is more difficult but definitely a good chance on the second shot the wedge here you can see that we we're not having a straight tailwind i'm not going to say that but it's going to be close to that in my opinion so we're measuring the club judging this one to be 60 percent so I'm using 60% slider, ball guideline into hole, and I'm playing no spin. Adjustment is made, and uh, if that's not already said, we play 20% elevation, P5 numbers, as we're using a power 5 ball. This ball is super big, I'm trying to center this one in the best of my abilities, but it's always going to overlap the arrows just slightly. Write the pin for a beautiful albatross. For hole number seven, the final part three, I think this is going to be the easiest one, like with obviously, I mean, it, maybe I shouldn't say easiest. But this is the least difficult one to get an hole in one on. You can see that we're playing a rough bump because I do believe that the rough patch we are playing at now is big and it would give us room to hit great left or right. And I do believe that for uh, cro uh, headwinds and tailwinds as well. Here I'm adjusting max plus a 20. I'm using all the side spin to the right and then whatever back spin to get the ball guideline into the hole. And when you do hit the rough like we're doing here now, it looks like it's going to stop short, but due to the downhill on the green, it will fall right into the cup. In a headwind, we're going to play with a driver, then it's preferred to start with a power two ball in complete minimum distance. In a tailwind, we keep playing with a sniper and a power three ball to find max line as we would like to do there. So here, the rough bump is the only play uh, for me, because I do believe that will increase our chances for a hole in one. Sure, if you're not interested in going for rough bumps, then you can just ping the ball down the green, take your pot, and lock in the birdie. For hole number five, which is hole number seven for the Young Sun Gardens, uh, we're gonna do a, a yellow ring by the rough line at max P3 line with a pop five plus. A POC 4 is going to have to uh, play, start with a P4 ball and uh, start at plus 22. Just to compensate for the different power. No top spin, no back spin, 3 left spin. Uh, max plus 10 is the adjustment using half a ball of left curl playing max OP with a slower needle. If playing with a P4 or P5 ball you will have a completely slow needle. Uh, so that's up to you to decide. But I want to play this one with a free to play ball. Bouncing nicely over, coming in with a good speed. However, a little bit too much left for not getting the hole in one because this is a par four. So this is a super simple eagle for us to get in tailwind and crosswind where headwind is going to be a little bit difficult. On the drive start with a uh, quarterback in complete max distance with a power a power three ball white train to the left by the rough line swap to a puck and sniper bag for top spin and we're gonna go half a bar of right spin adjustment is gonna be max plus 10 p2 and once we have adjusted for max plus 10 p2 we are going to go full curl to the left with max over power with a completely slow needle Perfect ball it is, and we see the first ball, its first bounce be on the fairway, and the second bounce obviously on the fairway too, and then we roll nicely to around 355 yards. On the second shot, we're going to use a three right spin, and then whatever top spin that gets the ball guideline to the hole, and this is by having the top of the yellow ring to be by the rough line. It's going to be somewhere between one and a half to one point eight top spin generally. So, 
finding the spot as we would like obviously double check so it is as we want perfect and then we are having 66 percent slider with a 10 percent elevation p3 numbers from plus four and then we're adding or, sub or subtracting 0.1 for every yard center the ball and hit perfect and this is going to be a good chance for a drop on a tricky and somewhat fairly difficult par 5 in my opinion. You can see as well that I'm adding some left curl, we're doing some wind angle tweaks here also to be absolutely spot on. Bounce up and rolls up and we're getting this one to drop dead center. Here we're going to start with the quarterback in NMT and then we swap to a puck and thorn bag. All the top spin and one right spin. This is a shot that is um, a little bit more aggressive option for a puck 7 plus. We do have option for a puck 4 plus as well. This is as now an alternative option. We're pushing up three rings after we have made our adjustment which is max plus 10 p5 and then we're using 0 0.4 ball of right curls so it's not entirely uh, half a ball of right curl max overpower with a slower needle try to hit perfect we want this ball to roll somewhere between 400 to 410 yards for those that do want to play with an even slower needle you can use a win five ball win 5p1 ball, sorry, win 5p5 ball and have a much slow, slower needle. On the second shot we're gonna use our thorn and go with backspin. We use plus 2 as a reference with frame check using all the backspin. Now we're using the tip of the ball guideline to be when looking at it from this direction which is the recommended way of setting it up. It should be just into the final green square pointing towards the right side of the cup. Plus two frame check, uh, sorry, plus nine frame check is our base, which is 92% slider with an 80% over adjustment power five ball settings. Then we're adding or subtracting point one from there. If we do have a pin check, then we're gonna use plus two as a base and plus two is going to be 92% slider plus 80% elevation p5 numbers yes 80 is the correct elevation we're using um, a lot of elevation here uh, to making sure that we are getting our drop this is a really good chance for an eagle but the drive is obviously everything if you don't get to drive to where we want to you're gonna have to be a bit innovative and at least make sure to secure the birdie Start with a basic ball and your quarterback. This, as we do want to have a three backspin and three backspin only. We're going to have the inner ring to be just by the edge of the rough line with a ball guideline through the hole with the spins applied. Now, we're going to make an adjustment that's going to be medium distance with a 10% over adjustment power two ball settings. And then we're going to obviously do wind angle tweaks based off different wind angles that we are having. Ensure to have no 1159 here in my opinion. 1159 will pull you further back and then you will lose distance and then you risk getting into the bunker that is below the rough. But if everything goes as planned, it hits the rough, it gets up and we are dropping it nicely for an hole in one. This is a tough part three, especially with an angle like this, we're bouncing on the pad that is before the water. It's not really the best way to do it because it's so hard to control the, the, the push from the tailwind, then the rough bump is the one to be applied. So we recommend to play with a wind three or a wind four ball, doesn't have to be a power three. That's up to you to decide what type of power you wanna use. On the drive here on hole number nine, this is hole number three of Young Sun Gardens. As we do have a headwind, I recommend to play with a P4 or P5 ball. This will allow us to not have to go with a lot of overpower. If you do not have any headwind, um, 
then I would recommend to go with just a free-to-play ball because there's no uh, need for anything else. Adjust max plus 10, white ring by the rough line using a 5.8 top spin and two left spin. Slightly more than outside wall left curl attempt, or not attempt, but do your best to hit. Perfect. We do want to have a simple drive center down the fairway, getting into that little bowl type like that you can see there as well. 375 yards is absolutely perfect, or that's where we're looking to be. On the second shot, we're gonna use two left spin per default always, because there is a sticky spot from here that we're trying to catch. So we're using two left spin, but here we should have used a little bit of top spin as well, because we do need to have the ball guideline through the hole, if uh, we, not through the hole, but we need to have it a decently through the hole if we do have a crosswind or we do have any type of headwind component and then we do have um the adjustment which is 15 percent elevation true slider perfect ball and you can see here now we are catching the funnel or the sticky spot whatever you want to call it and getting just short in line needed that little bit top spin to push the ball to get into the hole so he this one hole number nine is definitely a good chance to end up with an with an albatross thank you so much everybody for watching this playthrough for pro and expert division with various win for the rewind tournament here in gold flash the game a tournament with five different courses and the courses that we're gonna play are the new ones so that's going to be exciting at least for me let me know in the comment section below what you think as well scan the qr code here on the screen to get the guides for pro or expert or master for the upcoming tournament and tournaments after that uh, scan it or you go directly to patreon.com slash golf clash tommy thank you so much for watching good luck in your golf clash game